Cannabis and college. Alarming new numbers show that pot use is reaching the highest levels in decades on campus. And along with that, we're seeing a drastic drop in alcohol use. Team 12's Michael Doudna shows us what's behind the seismic shift. Lighting up and drinking. These vices aren't exactly new to college campuses, but new numbers show a surprising shift. These findings come from the Monitoring the Future study that we've been conducting here at the University of Michigan since 1980. Professor John Schollenberg is the lead researcher of the study, which finds a drastic drop in drinking. We hardly ever see anything drop that fast yeah. in a yeah. short amount of time. The National Institute on Drug Abuse finds that the number of college students drinking in the past 30 days dropped from 62% in 2019 to 56% in 2020. The bottom fell out between 2019 and 2020, so it's likely a pandemic effect uh, due to um, reduce time with with friends. But there were no such issues with pot use. The study found marijuana use is at an all time high, going from 38% in 2015 to 44% in 2020. And part of it is perceptions of the danger. So we asked them among again, the same questions we asked. One of them is, you know, how dangerous do you think it is to use marijuana regularly? <sighs> And that was an all-time low in the 19 to 22 age group. Yeah, well, it's actually not surprising for me. See, students like Gabby say perceptions have changed between alcohol and marijuana. Well, yeah, I feel like that a lot of people, especially college students, see that as a safer bed because it's more natural. And the data does suggest the more dangerous people perceive a drug to be, the less likely they are to use it. For example, after years of concerns over both opioids and vaping, both saw a decrease in use. It's just different drugs become more or less popular. Now, Schollenberg does believe that once we fully emerge from the pandemic, more people will start drinking again. But data like this can give an early warning on what may be the next concern for our youngest adults. All right, what's, what's coming next? What's happening on, on, uh, in my part of the country? Michael Doudna, 12 News.